welcome back to Bali. <laughs> Someone's cows escaped. Oh no. In the last vlog, we explored Seminyak, which was cool to see, but also just a little bit meh. Someone offered me Cialis. It's our last day in Changu, and with so much changing over the last few years, we're checking out some new areas and seeing how much food we can consume in a day. We're talking local food, awesome cafes, a cool new place with my favorite food, and a brewery with local craft beer. My favorite food. What a sick place! Add in some beach exploring and scooter cruising, and it's going to be an epic day. Hopefully, we find some rice paddies. I want yeah, that green. We will. I think you know, you remembered somewhere from last time we were here, right? Well, let's, let's uh, see. If they're still there, who knows if they actually still are. TBC, but first coffee and croissant. Yeah. The first spot is called Baked. There's actually two of them, I think. Um, but you seem to think there's a lot of people, right? They're like yeah. very busy. Did you see that line? No, I didn't actually spot the line, but apparently there's a lot. Um, one great thing about Good morning. Salma <laughs> Pagi. Great, thank you. One amazing thing about um, this Pisani we were staying is the staff, well one, as you've seen, so friendly, and two is they're always down there cleaning, putting stuff away, tidying, scrubbing the pots and all that kind of stuff. It's unbelievable. Full house. Oh, this is Where's the scooter? The scooter. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I recognize our bike. It's when it says the scooter. The scooter. Go. We found some rice paddies, ish. But this is long grass. So this is the shortcut to Peranan, which uh, there's a sign back there, no loud bikes. What about loud people like us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, just check it out. Come on, Puggy. Yeah, no, no uh, cars. So have you explained where we are? I can't remember. I got too excited and I ran in. <laughs> so we're at Baked. We were just gonna get one almond croissant, but Dane went up to order and came back with the pan au chocolat and an almond croissant, which actually looks like it's got chocolate in the middle, which I've not seen before. Oh, it does, yeah. Yeah. It? And we got two flat whites, and that was 150,000. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't think straight because I'm just like looking at all of these buttery layers and I'm like just ready to eat it. You prep for eating. If you don't know, Indonesian breakfast is uh, it's not really a thing, eh? Not like local stuff. Yeah, I mean you can obviously you can get eggs and you can get like on on this menu here. Ah, and we've got coffees as well, obviously. That's uh, that price, that 150 included two flat whites too, which look delicious. Uh, no, we're okay. Thank you very much, sir. Can I take the menu? Yes, thank you. I'd say one of the better coffees that we've had in terms of um, safe for everybody. <laughs> A little bit fruity, a little bit creamy, a little bit kind of milky, not too, not too strong, but there's some strength in there. So it's a pretty sound one. I'm pretty happy with that. Often the Indonesian blends can be quite um, quite fruity, but this is just subtle. It's nice. Very nice. Holy <laughs> shit. It's still warm, so it's like fresh out of the oven. I think that is chocolate, but it's also that frangipan stuff that you normally get inside an armor croissant. I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but that's really good. Go. <laughs> Someone's cows escaped. Oh no. This is an area that seems to be developing a lot now that Changu has sort of really expanded so far. But yeah, it's crazy to think that this is still part of Changu. It's just a different area. Oh, is it still officially it part official of Changu? Yeah, oh, my bad. It's okay. Just yeah, okay. But you can see, I mean, look at the development. Loads of new villas coming along. Um, and yeah, there's a, a cool selection of cafes. Like Baked is just up the road. There's, a, I think, a lot of really nice villas on this yeah, strip as well. Um, this is where we should go. And yeah, exactly. And really nice uh, waves as well for surfing too. Buggy. Okay. Yeah, good spot for surfing.
Yeah, I love it. <laughs> See you, mate. Yeah, so this is a typical kind of beach in this area. It's going to be fascinating to see if they, if they change once we go down to Uluwatu and once we get back out to the gillies over the next few days. <laughs> Good job, Bob! Good job! <laughs> Noodles every time, all day, every day. <laughs> Been a bit of a day of mispronunciations. So it was actually Pererinan that we were at earlier. I don't know why, we've heard people just say Pererinan before, maybe it's kind of shortened to that. And then we just told somebody at our villa that we were going to a warang and she was like, a what? And this is a warung, and we were like, oh shit. Hmm. Yep. How oh, bad. So a few days ago, we asked a local, tell us a few warungs that we can go to over the next few days while we're in Changu. Uh, so Bumi was one the other day, we went to one last night, I can't remember what that's called, and this one is Sika. This one is easily our favourite, we got heaps of food. So the total for the food comes to 70,000. I don't know what the coke and the beer are just yet, although it looks like the pricing is on the wall there. Um, way spicier, way more flavour, a little bit more oil, but I just think a lot more going on, a little bit more flavoursome. Uh, whereas that first one, Bumi, was delicious, but like I said, right, it's super clean and not, I don't know, maybe just toned down a little bit. This one's legit. I mean, I've got a little bit of a sweat on, <laughs> just enjoying it. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, that's exactly what you wanted. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Woo. What a sick place! This is, awesome. this is so cool. So, a hundred thousand to do a, a tasting. So, I've got the big juicy double IPA, the IPA, a summer pale ale, and a small hazy. What did you get? This sounds pretty bogan, but I got the Vienna Lager. It is one of their local black sand brews. Um, just because I'm not like a massive fan of the floral hops, but I want to try something else if you don't mind sharing. <laughs> Cheers, babe. Cheers. Starting off with a small hazy, which says that it's uh, it's the approachable IPA. I think the guy I at the bar. Oh, <laughs> I don't think the guy at the bar has been on the approachable one. Ooh. Good. Delicious. That one's a little bit light for my taste. You'll like that. You won't like that. I'm just gonna jump right to the end. Oh yeah. Yeah, legit like Australian, New Zealand, high quality hops. Really tasty hop forward. <laughs> Our final stop was Luigi's. It's been on my list for years, and if you know us well, you can probably guess what kind of food they have. It's pizza. But with Drake pumping at full volume. Uh, thanks very much. Okay. There wasn't really the chance to talk about it. Cheers! Not that we're complaining. It was actually cool to hit up a spot with some big tunes playing. The pizzas were amazing, wood-fired, homemade, simple but tasty goodness. Are we cheersing? Yeah, cheers. Dead. Whoa. That's like, that's like New Yorkie. Mmm. Okay, just one more stop, but who can resist? Eh, but the rain caught up with us. Which made one of us happier than the other. Oh, give me some lightning. It's raining, but... It's scary. <laughs> Come on! Yes! <laughs> Home time. Home time. <laughs> Over the next few days, we're going to be making our way out to the Gilly Islands, somewhere we've wanted to visit for a very long time. But in order to get there, we're going to break up the trip by, in the next vlog, heading to Ubud and checking into that accommodation that we mentioned. $41 a night! I mean that front bit is kind of weird but I think it's all the family and this is sort of the property at the back that they've put this on for guests. Trying the famous Bubby Guling and taking a muggy, confusing, sales pitchy kind of walk around the most popular rice terraces in Bali. Catch you then.